BNS 161 Statics of Rigid Bodies Module 2 Statics of Particle Okay, so this is a continuation of uh, the sample problems for our module 2 uploaded in um, YouTube So, um, since this is a uh, more complicated problems compared to those um, problems that we have solved uh, sa module 2 natin sa YouTube so, I decided na separate na lang siya to be uploaded dito sa Facebook group natin. So, this is supposed to be a uh, live broadcast but um, for some reasons, I cannot go to the college to do the live broadcast. So, I pre-recorded ko na lang and i-upload sa group natin. Okay, so... Sample problem 2.6. So, as part of the design of a new sailboat, it is desired to determine the drag force which may be expected at a given speed. So, this is the sailboat. So, the water is flowing. So, ano daw yung drag force that is uh, the sailboat is experiencing. So, to do so, a model of um, proposed hull is placed in a test channel and three cables are used to keep its bow on the center line of the channel so there is a dynamic uh, dynamometer readings indicate that for a given speed the tension so uh, rem rem um, take note of the force uh, so tension 40 pounds in cable AB so this one merong 40 pounds of tension dito and 60 pound in cable AE so dito na part so merong 60 pound na in tension so Determine the drag force exerted on the hull and the ten tension at AC. So, tension here and the drag force that is exerted on the hull. Okay, so um, in solving problem, so we will um, pinpoint or select the particle to be analyzed. So, in this problem, we will select the particle A. So, we will start with the free body diagram so first force is AB so that is in tension so tension is away from the particle that is 40 pounds so even sha second tension is TAC which is unknown so we will assume that TAC is in tension since uh, hindi natin alam yung ano niya kung compression bar tension no so uh, uh, drug force is of course Yung direction ng force is uh, uh, along with the flow. So, meron tayong FD na drag force on the hull. And then, um, tension at AE is 60 pounds. Okay, so there is a two angles involved. So, with respect to the vertical axis, we have alpha. The angle of um, tension at uh, AB, which is 40 pounds. And angle beta. So, that is the angle uh, of um, TAC with respect to the y-axis or vertical axis. Okay, so first we will solve uh, for the angles, that is the um, uh, alpha and beta. So, meron tayong given na uh, length or um, uh, dimensions. So, we can solve for alpha and uh, beta using these dimensions. Okay, so starting with alpha, so meron tayong this is 7 feet and this is 4 feet. So this is alpha. Okay, so using the um, uh, sign, um, trigonometric properties of a triangle, so we can say that uh, we can solve that tangent alpha is equals to opposite, which is 7 feet, over the adjacent na 4 feet. Okay, so this is tangent inverse of um, alpha is equals to tangent inverse of 7 over 4 okay so uh, alpha is then equals to 60.26 degrees ito yung alpha natin okay so for beta meron tayong so this is beta so this is 4 feet and this is 1.5 Feet. Okay, so tangent beta is equals to opposite, which is 1.5 feet, 
over 4 feet. So, beta is equals to the tangent inverse of 1.5 over 4. So, beta is then equals to 20.56 degrees. So, this is our beta. Okay, so next. So, since we have a uh, more than three forces, which is four, so we will use the component method. So, from the previous slide, we have solved that uh, yes, we will get the component of the uh, 40 pound or tension AB and the tension AC because um, FD at 60 pound is already um, in the uh, axis. So, hindi natin kung yung component niya. So, um, from the previous slide, we have solved that um, alpha is 60.26 degrees and beta is 20.56 degrees. Okay, so um, as I have said sa previous na module, so um, component method is better solved using uh, tabulated na solution. So, must organizing solution mo. Okay? So, uh, first is, you will start with um, tension AB, tension AC, ten, uh, FD, and then yung tension AE. So, magnitude. So, this is 40 pounds. And AC is um, unknown pa yung magnitude niya. So, this is still AC. And then FD is unknown. So, ito yung hanapin natin. And then AE is 60 pounds. Okay. So, starting with the TAB, uh, which is 40 pounds, so meron tayong um, positive na Y component and negative na X component. So, X component niya is, um, with respect to the alpha, X component is in the opposite to the alpha. So, meron tayong um, negative 40 sine alpha. So, which is alpha is sine um, 60.26 degrees. Okay? So, x component niya is negative 34.73 pounds. And then, yung TAC naman, we have um, I know, yung Y component niya is um, 40, so this is positive, 40 cosine alpha. So, alpha is 60.26 degrees. So, this is equals to positive 19.34 pounds. So, this is the um, X component and Y component of the um, 40 pounds na tension at AB. Okay, so next is TAC. So, TAC is, so unknown yung TAC natin. And TAC, so X component niya is opposite to the beta. So, this is sine beta which is 20.56 degrees. So, X component niya is positive um, 0. 35 TAC. And then, sa Y component naman, TAC, that is cosine beta. So, beta is um, 20.56 degrees. Okay, so, TAC natin is positive 0.94 um, TAC. Okay, so FD, so FD is in positive, siya na, sa positive X axis siya nalagay, and then, 0 yung X component niya. So, sa ano naman, TAE, which is 60 pound, 0 yung X component, and negative 60 yung uh, Y component niya, or yung force mismo. Okay, so now, meron na tayong mga um, components so, we will solve this using the um, equilibrium, equilibrium condition. So, first condition is summation of forces along x-axis is equals to 0. So, i-add natin yung mga x-axis na mga components. So, meron tayong negative 34.73 pounds. 
plus 0 0.35 TAC plus FD plus 0 equals 0. So, um, summation of forces along Y is equals to 0. So, this is in equilibrium. So, meron tayong 19.84 plus 0 0.94 TAC minus 60 equals 0. So, this is equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, so from the two equation, uh, first equation has two unknown. But sa second equation, meron tayong one unknown. So, we can solve TAC from this equation. So, transpose natin. So, TAC is equals to 60 minus 19.84 over all 0 0.94. So therefore, TAC is equals to um, positive, so this is positive, 42.72 pounds. So um, positive, mean, positive indicates that the assumption natin that TAC is in tension is correct yung assumption natin. So that yan yung ibig sabihin ng positive. Because um, for some problem na, for example, nag negative yung TAC natin, so, which, which is mali yung assumption at first. So, it should be in compression. But positive result, so meaning, in tension yung TAC na din. Okay, so TAC is, na-solve natin yung TAC. So, F din na lang yung um, kulang. So, um, 34.73 plus 0 0.35 TAC is 42.72 plus FD equals 0. So FD is equals to positive 19.78 pounds, which is also in tension. So since positive. So, but sa problem, obvious naman na positive yung effect nung um, uh, flow or yung drag force dun sa hull natin or dun sa FD. So, um, that's it. So, therefore, yung TAC and FD is equals to 42.72 pounds and 19.78 pounds. So, yan yung tension natin sa, ano, so this is um, 42.72 pounds and this is 19.78 pounds. Okay, so that's it for, that's it for this problem. Okay, so that ends our pro uh, last problem. So I want you to practice on solving dun sa uh, reference natin. So there are uh, 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 may available na mga um, problems. So you can practice solving there. So um, uh, as much as we want to, so limited lang yung uh, i-discuss natin na problem kasi uh, online, no? So mahirap mag-record and mahirap mag-discuss online. So um it, uh, it's up to you, no? Kung gusto niyo pa mag-practice ng ibang problem, so you can do so. So, just uh, be reminded of those um, um, notes na when you are solving uh, problems, no? So, a free body diagram. So, yung mga uh, na-take natin sa previous module. So, thank you for listening and have a good day.